Uh, West Virginia. Um, I mean, uh, before the visit, like you said, I had a bunch of great offers. Um, Kansas Gonzaga was my top three uh, together with uh, West Virginia. Uh, all of them great programs, but um, I was planning to see um, more. But, you know, when I was there, I just fell in love with uh, everything uh, West Virginia, you know. Uh, they uh, started out, I met the team, met the guys. Um, they took me around uh, afterwards, all of the coaches. Um, facility is incredible. The city, the people are, from what I've met so far, so amazing people. Uh, super welcoming, you know, friendly. Everybody's just saying hi or just uh, um, checking in uh, on how you're doing. So it, it, it was just an overall, like, great experience. And uh, I was like, you know, uh, why my, like, you know, why wait when I already uh, got this on the table? How much did NIL play a factor in you coming back for a final year anyway? Because you, you played four years. You didn't play a ton your first two and then, then made a big jump your junior and then this past season. Um, you know, you hail from from the Netherlands, from Amsterdam. Um, yep. How much of, of NIL, if there hadn't been NIL, would you have mm -hmm. just said at this point, hey, I'm, I'm going to go pro? Uh, good chance. Good chance. Uh, definitely um, change things, you know, for everybody, I guess, in college. You know, there's yep. first round picks coming back to college. Uh, and it's probably like NIL is a huge um, factor for that, for sure. Um, so, yeah, it, it definitely like made it an easier consideration because, you know, college is a great place to learn, a uh, great place to develop. Uh, but when I, NIL also gets a chance to, you know, uh, earn some on top of that. So definitely played a role um, in just making an easier decision. Was was West Virginia your only? That was your only visit, right? Yeah, yeah, it was. Yeah. So was that tough to make the the decision after one visit, or because you're older, you've kind of gone through this process already coming out of high school? Did it make it a little easier to say, "Hey, you know what? I, I've seen it. I'm good. I don't need to go to Kansas or Gonzaga." Yeah, like it definitely. You know, I'm um, like you said. You know, I've been around. I've been playing for four years. Been in college, seen a lot of campuses, uh, played a lot of away games, uh, and you kind of get a feel for what it's like. You know, uh, what what type, what's the type of place that you fit in? What's the type of place that you would, uh, you know, like living or um, like playing in? So, um, I'm definitely ready, like a little bit further in that. Um, but on top of that, like I said, you know, it just it's easy to fall in love with. I guess when you live there. Um, and it translated really easily when I was there. So uh, I, I just didn't feel the need to, you know, uh, look any further, really. Um, it was just a lot of fun. Great time. So you, you played four years for Bayheim, which I think prepares yeah. you for anything. Um, <laughs> but but I'm not sure if it prepares you for hugs. Like, these, these are two <laughs> iconic coaches that yeah. are very different. But you know what I'll say? The, the one thing they have in common – there's no bullshit yeah. with either of them. There's zero yeah. bullshit. They're going to tell you exactly how they feel. And, and to me, I guess, going through the four years with Beheim, where he was tough on you early. Yeah. He, was, he was tough on you late. Uh, for sure. You're prepared for anything, aren't you? Um, Yeah. You know, I've um, learned a lot from uh, Coach Bam over the years, for sure. You know, four years with a legendary coach like that. You know, you see the good times, see the bad times. You know, he uh, – see how he reacts to that you see what you can do uh to learn from that so it's, it's just been a, a great learning experience uh you know the assistant coaches too coach red and uh, griff and uh, gmac you know you have a bunch of great players who played at syracuse who teach you um uh you know the ropes and uh they, they really guide me through that uh and with hugs you know what i've seen so far is is it's just the uh, you know uh, he's absolutely a different a different coach you know like you said <laughs> I'm used to uh, a lot of stuff, but, you know, I might just learn a lot, uh, a bunch more uh, when I go to uh, West Virginia. I know that for sure. Um, and the assistants, everybody I've met so far, you see there's like a culture of, uh, um, you know, uh, basketball uh, just all around. You know, Hugs told, uh, Coach Hugs told me uh, how he grew up, you know, his, 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 uh, his, his dad was, a, uh, you know, a, a great coach. Uh, so he just grew up with the game and you see that, uh, you feel that around uh the the program it's just it's just a lot of fun you know everybody's there to, to play everybody's there to win so yeah how how did he tell you he's going to try to use you any different than than you have been utilized at Syracuse uh yeah I mean obviously I'm just trying to uh 
uh, build up what I've built uh, the last couple of years, you know, so try to take my game that I've developed uh, to a new level. That's what I'm uh, uh, going to try to bring to the uh, the program, you know, uh, do, keep doing what I'm doing, but also, uh, you know, add somewhat of a shot, you know, improve the pick and roll defense. Uh, I haven't really had a lot of chances to do that yet. So it's a bunch of new stuff I uh, I want to just uh, try out and work on as hard as I can. And obviously, uh ACC is a physical league. Uh, Big Big Twelve is uh, just as physical, if not a little bit more. So uh, probably going to be uh, spending some time in the in the gym with uh, <laughs> with the guys. So yeah, there's a a bunch of stuff I want to improve for sure. Yeah, you know, it's good. Like different system, obviously. Uh, yeah. Different different arenas. You know, yeah. you're probably a little bored going in the same arenas over and over and over <laughs> over the last four years. So now you you know yeah. get to go to Kansas, get to go to some of those other uh iconic yeah. uh arenas and i'll tell you what mm -hmm. playing in 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 the big 12 is no joke because those fans like some of the places in the acc are unbelievable as you know yeah. you know obviously yeah. going to duke is duke right there's nothing like yeah. duke and kansas i think are the 1a and 1b but mm -hmm. you know some of the the bottom ones in the acc aren't nearly as like there's no bad ones in the big 12 there's no bad right yeah, see what you're everything's see really what you're good. Sure. Um, so I think yeah. you'll notice you'll notice the difference there. I, I know yeah. I asked you whether yeah. you would have been back in college if if NIL didn't exist. Um, how much did it? I saw a quote from you earlier a little bit that it wasn't the the ultimate factor in you choosing West Virginia, but it it did matter a, a little yeah. bit. I mean, in terms of again, I've heard West Virginia's NIL package is pretty pretty strong and Syracuse as you alluded to the fact that it, it's not great yet right now uh yeah I mean I might have like uh misphrased it a little bit you know they've, they've done a great job already you know uh and like you said the big 12 might just be at a uh just at a great point right now and 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 um so at that point you know with NIL there they are um uh you know just a bit maybe bigger uh so that definitely helps you know like I said uh Q's also definitely had, um, you know, their side of it. Uh, and like I said, you know, it was just um, the stuff around it really that made it for me. Um, just a new, you know, a new change of scenery because four years uh, has been great. Like, honestly, I've had an amazing time here. Uh, the, the the fans here are great. The program is great. Uh, but I just felt like it was time to, for me, you know, to move on, give myself a new uh, environment to challenge myself in. And that's what I definitely feel I found uh in uh in wv and uh you know i haven't been there long enough yet to, to vouch for everything but everything i've seen so far has been just uh amazing and seems like a, a new level to chance myself at um uh, against new opponents new coaches uh new players so it's 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 yeah it's a lot of fun you know what's going to be the most entertaining thing for you to see is going to be okay. the interactions between hugs and kirk Kreisa. Two of my favorite people, <laughs> two of my favorite people. But I'm telling you, you're gonna you're gonna get a front row seat to some very entertaining conversations that you are not I gonna bet. be able to repeat the words to. No, 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 no. I'm pretty sure of that. I'm pretty sure of that. 